We got the first update for Dragon's Dogma 2 with some pretty nice improvements. The first thing you will notice is that there's now a new game option in the menu. Now sadly this does not mean that there will be multiple save slots, just that you can start completely fresh if you select this. It will give you a warning that your current save data will be erased, so totally be careful if you have no plans to do this. One nice change is that first if you would go to the Pawn Girl in Fernworth you could only buy two of the Art of Metamorphosis. But now if you go there you can buy up to 99 for 500 RC each. And then head to the Barber Shop noted with the scissors on the map and they can use the item to change the appearance of your Arisen or Main Pawn. So now you can basically do that as many times as you would like. And you likely already have your house in Fernworth or at least have the quest a place to call home. But what they now did is make that quest that allows players to acquire their own dwelling where they can save and rest available earlier in the game. I already got stopped on the streets by Mildred pretty early on over here in Fernworth. But seems like you had to do some activities first for this to happen. Well now you can probably access it the moment you reach Fernworth. Best to wait 7 days in the bed inside that house for Mildred to return and then if you have 20,000 gold you can buy the house so basically have a free inn that you can then go to. The update should also improve the quality when DLSS and super resolution is enabled on PC and they fix an issue related to the display of models under some specific settings. I also see many people reporting that their performance on PC has improved after the update. Of course let me know your experience in the comments down below and on console we also got some exciting additions. I'm playing on PS5 by the way. The Xbox Series update should be coming a few days later and after installing the patch it does seem that the frame rate is already a bit improved when just walking through Vernworth. Nothing too crazy, but the experience is a bit smoother overall. Something new they did add though is the option to cap the frame rate at 30. For if you want a more constant frame rate, because on the variable option it can go up really high, but sometimes also down, so yeah, it will fluctuate quite a lot. You see that here in a footage from Digital Foundry, but the real game changer with this update though is the fact that you can turn off ray tracing. You have to do it from the title screen and then hop back into the game again and you will totally notice the graphical differences when you for example enter the flame bearers palace in Bak Batal and this will suddenly look way less impressive because of the changes in shadows and reflections everything will feel more gray and less lively although it's mostly in the urban environments. Elsewhere the differences weren't that noticeable and I think you will get used to it pretty fast because the upside you get from this is worth it in my opinion. Maybe you already see it but the frame rate is way higher now on PS5. I'm getting closer to 40 frames now, maybe even more when playing without ray tracing and with the variable frame rate option on. And this makes combat in particular way more pleasant. How the enemies move is more smooth, just like your own actions, so totally try this out. I prefer prefer this over playing with ray tracing. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. And what they also added is the option to turn off the motion blur in the graphic setting. You can just do this on the fly and this of course really a personal preference. Like you will immediately see that the image is a bit sharper which is great. But on a lower frame rate without the motion blur movement can look less smooth. I personally did not really have an issue with how it was before the patch. But it's of course nice that we now have the option. And I by the way checked but the skill splitter weapon skill damage still seems to be the same as before the update. Like I was afraid they might nerf it. Of course if you found anything that changed with the patch drop it down below. And some of you use Medusa her bow and get a ton of XP you want to know how well I got many tricks for that and other game changing items that I go over in the video that you can watch by clicking on the screen. Don't forget to subscribe and like for more Dragon's Dogma 2 and I will speak to you soon. Goodbye.